Hi, this is Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of keto, carnivore, and counting calories. I started my journey in August of 2019 and reached my goal in November of 2022. Now that I've reached my goal, I'm focusing on my health, both physical and mental. Thank you for watching. If you've watched my channel very long, you know that I was carnivore for now almost like right at two years, two months short of two years. So um, right now, uh, my family has been in town and I went on vacation with the family and burgers really played a huge part of how I was able to stay full and on track. So um, I still have family in town. So we are going to, um, we're going to make up some more burgers. This part is gonna be noisy, so I'm gonna quit talking. But I take foil, I double foil my pan. The, these pans are full-size sheet cake pans, so they're very big, which is why uh, why I wrap them, plus it's less to clean. But these don't just, I can't just set them down in my dishwasher because they're so big. Okay, I've cut the top off of these. The burgers are really, really handy because <clears throat> you can just grab them and go. Um, I package them up in Ziploc bags of two, and then that way, um, you know, like whenever I was with the family, sometimes we'd go to town or go shopping or we'd go somewhere, and so I was able to just grab two burgers and go, you know. Um, it, lot, the, seems like a lot of things have, we left a lot of times at 10 o'clock in the morning, and so my eating time that my brain and body are used to is 11 o'clock so by grabbing the burgers um because i'm not carnivore i was able to grab the burgers and some cut up rutabaga or uh, some peppers or some pickles so i was able to grab something and then while we were out shopping wherever we were at I was then able to just eat the burgers right out of the plastic bag, just like it was in a, you know, in a bun, except it was the plastic bag instead. So this is a really good alternative if you are going to be out and about with people and, you know, you don't want to have, you don't want to have to deal with, you know, the things they're eating and doing. And like I said, they were, they were super duper portable. Now, my day-to-day -day life, I'm not out and about as much. I mean, I eat at work at a desk. So, having burgers is not something I need on my day-to-day -day life. But um, for this special situation, they really worked out well. And I was very thankful that I made them. So, um, you know, I just like to show you all things I do and stuff. And hopefully, maybe, you know, something might help you all in a situation that you're in. So... Now, sometimes I season them and sometimes not. Um, I'm going to season one of these but not the other because I might be using these later on. I don't really know. So, um, and actually, I think because they're so, they're not wet enough for seasonings to stick. I'll do it. I'll do it. Hang on, let me get this open. This is a new seasoning I just got, so let me get it open. I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell which one I seasoned, so. Cause see, it's just falling right off these outer edges. I could maybe sprinkle a little water on them. Let's do that. Let's put a little water on them. Hang on. There we go. That'll hopefully help the seasonings to stick better. There. Right. Now I'm gonna do these over here. It's funny, this water bottle is what I use when the dogs act up. <laughs> so, I know it's just plain water. Sometimes like if the dogs are, you know, Acting out of hand, I, 
I'll just get that water bottle. I have another thing that I use for the dogs. And um, if they're being extra obnoxious, it's a sound thing. It just makes a high-pitched sound that the dogs do not like. It hurts my sweet Sammy's ears and I don't want to hurt my baby. So, all right, I put these in the oven. Um, I'm going to, I think I usually do 20 minutes and 10 minutes. And so we're going to try that. I forget every time I make them. So you do it till they look like what you want them to look like. But we're going to do 20 minutes first. Okay, so there they are. I've got the oven at 400 degrees and a timer set for 20 minutes. I forgot to show you, this is the seasoning I bought. It's called Garlic and Onion Style Blend. I like all kinds of blends. You don't have to use them, but, and of course, they're rarely clean. Let's see what's in it. Um, hang on. Garlic, 46%. Salt, 14%. Oh, salt, onion, 14%. Red bell pepper. There's sugar in it, you guys, so... Um, carrot, turmeric, parsley, black pepper, coriander, soybean, or oregano, cumin, sage, and chive. So there is sugar in this, so, but it's not enough that it counts as a whole total carb. So I ain't sweating it, but that's what I'm using. Okay, so my timer just went off that the burgers are done. I always rotate them, so I'm going to try to remember that I put the, that one's the top one, and this is the bottom one. Let's see if I can, see if I can remember that. Um, so now I'm going to just flip the burgers, and then I'll season this side. wondering if I said the wrong time I think I kind of wonder I did think I might have done 30 minutes and 10 minutes I don't know it doesn't matter they'll get done one way or the other won't they just make the reason why I did that is yeah I think that's what I did because they're not totally cooked enough to flip the top ones were weren't whenever I did it <clears throat> Sorry about that. My timers just go off all the time on y'all. I have so many timers set for so many different things. So anyway, yeah. So let's. I'm going to get all these flipped. And then we'll go back in there for, I'll do 10 minutes. Like I said, I really think that I did it too soon. And I really think it's 30 minutes and 10 minutes. But like I said, I ain't going back to look at my old video to find out, y'all. You know I ain't got that kind of time. Because these are usually more done than this. The bottom ones are. The bottom shelf. But like I said, I'm going to rotate them. Oh, come on, fella. Don't be arguing with me. Come on, come on, come on, fella. There we go. So. Look at me. I'm touching meat, y'all. I'm touching meat. <clears throat> now, what you can do with the... Uh, you can save the, when they're all done, you can save the juice. I tend to let them just soak in the juice and reabsorb that excess, or that rendered moisture, rendered fat. I tend to just let them soak in it. So then that way they can, <clears throat> so then that way they can um, be juicy still. Now we're going to go ahead and put some, we're going to put a different seasoning on the top. This one, we're going to do a mixture of buttery steakhouse and this campfire grill, uh, campfire grilling dust. So we're going to put a little mixture of these. This one, it has big holes and it comes out in big groups. This is that Kinder's brand. I call it Kinders because we have people who live here and <clears throat> that's how they spell their last name and that's what we called them all. My whole life growing up was Kinder. So I just say Kinders. But I hear other people say Kinders. And I think it's fun that 
you know, we all read the same name or the same letters and say something differently. I think that's so fun. Okay, this is the Weaver's Dutch Country Seasonings Campfire. They also have a farm dust. And um, I get mine from Amazon. You look it up if, you know, if you're wondering about it. You look it up and see if the ingredients are okay for you. So much, I, I don't. I don't look at that as much. So here's the thing. When I was carnivore those two years, um, I was in a group, Facebook group with Charles Washington and a lot of them. And he specifically said that he buys, um, he bought these ribs that from a place across the street from where he worked at the time. And something he said when people were saying, hang on, let me tell. Okay. So, um, anyway, I set the timer for 20 minutes because I know that it was 40 minutes and so I did it wrong, but it'll be all right. So, I set the timer for 20 minutes. Anyway, <coughs> what Charles, Charles, yeah, Charles, I think it was Charles Washington. Yeah, Charles Washington. Anyway, the carnivore guy, um, he, uh, he had said that, you know, he doesn't get freaked out about seasonings that have a little bit of sugar in them. His theory was that, you know, they burn, a lot of it kind of cooks out during cooking. I ain't saying he's right. I ain't saying he's wrong. I'm just saying that's what I kind of went by, um, his words. And so through my carnivore journey of seasonings have had sugar, as long as it wasn't like the very first ingredient, I haven't, didn't really freak out so much about it. But you do what's better for you because we are all different. We can all handle things differently. So, um, but for me, I don't freak out if there's a little bit of sugar. So my... My blended seasonings, they're for sure not pure. But uh, anyway, so, all right, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, it has been 20, full 20 minutes. Woo, that's hot in there now. Fogging up the glasses, I can't see. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm just going to pull them up here. Turn that off. And I'm just going to let them cool down. And as they cool down, they're going to reabsorb that liquid in the bottom. If I didn't want the liquid, I could pull them out now. It's however you want. I'm just going to leave them in there. <coughs> when they're cooled down, um, and I, I'll bag them up into baggies, you could also then, you could pull them out now and use that rendered fat for whatever you wanted to. That would make a good, I don't know, something. You could do, you could cook all kinds of stuff because it's seasoned up. But even when I don't use it, if I don't season it, then you can put it, I water it down and I put it on the dog's food sometimes. But anyway, I'm not doing that this time. So I'm just going to let those cool down and I'll be back with you. So to get ready for my burgers, I'm going to go ahead and open up 12 of these. So three, four, five. Six, seven, I'm in eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I'm going to open up twelve of these. Like I said, we're going to put twelve in a thing. And whenever you see, when we go back to my burgers, you'll see how much of that moisture they reabsorbed. So it's kind of like, you know, they say when you cook a steak, you should let it, <clears throat> um, you know, let it sit, rest, and, you know, absorb, re, you know, let the moisture redistribute. Well, we're doing that same thing, only with the burgers. So I'm going to move the, a pan over here, and I'll be right back. This pan, you, I, I'm, touch, I'm holding it with my hand on the bottom. So these burgers are definitely well rested. So now I'm just using this glove, and I'm going to drop my burgers in. And like I said, these can be ready while my sister's in town. I can take them anywhere. Um... Whenever I go to my work work conference, I can um, take these along. It's just something that's very, very portable and easy. And um, yeah, sorry, I keep licking my hands in between time because I keep getting keep getting it on my fingers. I'm definitely a messy Marvin in the kitchen.
Again, you can scrape up this leftover rendered stuff and do what you want with it. I'm just going to fold this up and trash it. And then I'm going to wrap the other burgers. And then I'll show you what I do with these when I'm all done. So after I'm done with them, there's, sometimes there's moisture, sometimes not. But the moisture is from the, uh, you know, from the uh, steam. But I like to wipe them off with a little bleach wipey. When I worked in a deli, you know, back then, we washed the dishes by hand. And then afterwards, we had to have a, there was like three sinks. One sink was for soapy water. One sink was for just water for rinsing. And then the other sink was for um, bleach water. Yeah, I don't even remember the ratio. But anyway, so <clears throat> just to get them sterile and clean again, that's what I had to do when I washed them at the end of the day. So anyway, so like my food does not normally touch this. But I still prefer to go on and wipe these down. I don't do it with all my other ones. If I wash it in the dishwasher, then I'm not going to go through all this. But I don't wash these in the dishwasher because they don't fit. So this is just my way of extra getting them clean. And, and again, my food doesn't get on this. So it's not like it's going to taste like bleach in a couple, in a week or so when I do burgers again. But it's just my way of knowing that it's clean. So, <clears throat> all right. Now, let's get the burgers all finished up. So now, I've got them all in there, and I'm just going to zip y'all 12 of them. So, as far as macros, I don't remember. I'd have to look at the package, and I think the packages are buried. Um, but, you know, so when, if I, like I said, I'm thinking about going back to Carnivore for a few weeks, maybe a month, I'm not really sure. When I do, <clears throat> I will look at mat, at the calories and figure out how many I want to eat a day and portion them out accordingly. Um, <clears throat> but um, this is just something easy, easy peasy. When I was carnivore, I did it multiple ways. Sometimes I did burgers. Sometimes I did ground beef. When I did ground beef, I would add things like... Um, uh, cottage cheese. No, I didn't add cottage cheese back then. I would add things like um, sour cream to make and taco seasoning to make it be like uh, southwestern. I would add um, Greek yogurt and um, I'd add Greek yogurt and at five. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. Uh, <clears throat> I would add a. Uh, uh, feta cheese and Greek seasoning, you know, so you can it, you can be carnivore and change up your meals. So whenever I was carnivore, I did not season my meat because I never knew wanted what I was in the mood for. So these I did season just because this way they're done. And now I will pop these in the pop this bag in the freezer, leave this one out, and um, <clears throat> so that's just kind of gonna be. Actually, I'm probably gonna just leave a few of these out. Might leave two bags out, and then if I feel like I need more, I can always pull more out of the freezer, you know. So, but I've got these labeled as seasoned burgers. So there you go. That's how I'm gonna. That's how I'm doing these, and that's how I'll do them, like for family trips, um, work trips, whatever. I will definitely have burgers to take along because they're so easy peasy. I just take them out. You've seen me. I take them out, and I open it up, and I. <laughs> I eat them right out of the bag and I treat the bag as if it's like the wrapper of a, of a burger that you get somewhere. So, all right. Well, that's the end of my burgers. So thank you. Have a great day, guys.